20 pound face bowls, buddy. The key to success of a giant back. Don't you fucking look away, buddy. This guy's programming right here. Give me about three years. This is an example of Rome wasn't built in a day. I agree with him. He had a good point. He said, how long did it take you to get this fat? I said, years. Weird. I just woke up and started doing this. Like, hey, I'm going to be a trainer today. <laughs> just made all this shit up. Just make it up every day. I used to think that. I don't that. know. I have a clue what I'm doing. I used to think that. Yeah, I have no idea. This is Mark Belton, Super Training Gym, Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West. What in the hell is Fat Dan doing right here? I have no idea. He looks like he's enjoying it too much. Have you ever done that before? Never. Not, not quite. <laughs> not, not, quite. Not, not that intense. Whoa, look at that guy. That's, that's not natural. No, that's donuts. That's not, it's not natty. Look at this hipster. There's our boy Bryce. What's going on with his hair? He's trying know. for a new look. He's going for the man bun? He's confused, I think. He's one, one minute he's got the beard growing out, another minute he's got it like tightened up a little bit. The hair's going crazy. I don't know what he's got going on. I don't know. We're hitting up some bench pressing on this day, and uh, we have a lot of different guys using some different techniques and stuff, so we'll kind of go over some of that shit. You can see Marcus, just you got like 225 on there, just banging out some reps, warming up. But you kind of see like the weight is hitting the same spot each and every time, and that is a... Um, that's a cru crucial thing for beginning lifters to try to learn is to get the weights to touch the same spot every time. It, it looks simple, it sounds simple, but it's not easy to execute. Bench technique and the form on the bench press is probably something that we go over uh, more so in here than any other lift. The deadlift, um, you're going to always want to work on trying to flatten out your back. Um, with the squats, you're going to want to always try to stay a little upright in your squats. Um, and try to keep the chest up at least a little bit. Unless you're me. Unless you're you. Yeah, I mean, some people look down. I mean, there's different form, but you want to keep the spine neutral. Um, leaning into it and using your lower back is fine, but the bench press seems to be kind of the one area where um, as soon as those weights get heavy, the form starts to really deteriorate. And you see it sometimes in deadlift too, where the back just gets rounded. Not as much in the squat. A lot of times in the squat, someone will, maybe their knees will cave in a little bit or they'll just flat out kind of miss the weight. Yeah, hips shoot up. But in the bench press, it's really, we're trying to get everybody to bring the elbows in slightly, you know, get the weights to touch a little bit below the nipples. Um, but each person's so different, and the way each person sets up is so different. Here's our boy Bryce banging out some reps. What do you think of this kid? Strong kid. He, uh, he plays around too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, needs, he, needs to, he needs to focus. Yeah. He took a bet with me, and then he backed out of it. Oh, my God. So he's got to shave that beard. Yeah, well, what was the bet? So the bet was he was going to bench 402 in the March meet at 198. And if he won, I'm going to get a tattoo of one-legged wonder on my ass cheek. <laughs> or I get to shave his beard for a month. Yeah, he's got to shave that beard, I'd say. That's definitely, definitely something he's going to have to do because he fucking lost that bet by uh, a long I don't, shot. I don't know why he took the bet, but he what did. did he, what did he bench in that meet? He did bench like 360. He did, it was 360 or 370, something yeah. around there. It was really well. I yeah. mean, he had a little bit more in the tank, too. That day. Here's our guy, Lauren. Lauren's like fucking 6'5 or 6'4. And uh, not, that's not an excuse uh, for anybody not to be able to bench press. But he struggles with the bench press, but then he has a little bit better, better leverages the uh, pull. for deadlifting, which is you know, pretty common with some of the taller guys. But there are tall guys that are strong. So if you're trying to use the tall guy excuse for not being strong on the bench, it's not really a, a great excuse because you can build up your bench press. I think the thing to always remember is that anybody can get better than where they currently are. So if your bench press sucks or your deadlift sucks, you can still work on improving that. And uh, I think sometimes what happens with the lift that you are the worst at, you tend to like be the most worried about. Yeah. It's something you're thinking about too much. What's your worst lift, do you think? For me? You're pretty, you're pretty well rounded. I it guess. was my deadlift yeah. for quite a while. Now it's probably the bench is yeah. what I'm lacking. And that used to be my best lift. Since what did you first pull the last meet? Was it 720? 711. 711. And then your best bench in a meet's what, 440? At 242 is 457 or 456, whatever the kilo conversion is. There's our boy Bill who doesn't even fucking warm up. No, that was his first set. 
Just comes yeah. raining off the streets. <laughs> Fucking loads up the weight. It's so funny. I have to yell at him every day to put his raps on because he forgets. Yeah, and he'll he, forget the chalk up. Yep. Yeah. He does the same thing on the squat. He'll just like walk in. He'll just throw three plates on and just start going. I could never. He'll start Like the other day, he took like six plates. He like took it out of the rack, squatted it, put it back, and then he's like, oh, "I forgot my belt." <laughs> I was like, "What?" There's uh, Silent Mike working on some uh, overhead pressing. Um, you know, some people kind of feel that the overhead press will translate over uh, to the bench press, and some people don't think it does. And Look at Bryce overhead pressing right yeah. here. Yeah, over, overhead pressing like a madman. The main thing is you don't want to leave any stone unturned in your training. You want to make sure you cover all your bases. So, you know, having stronger shoulders, is it going to lead to a better bench press? Of course it will. Having healthier shoulders, having stronger shoulders, having better mobility and range of motion in your shoulders, uh, it's going to help in the long run. It may not have an immediate impact. That's why when you do exercises, you can't always just, um, you can't be so quick to write them off. You got to try them out for a while. You did some strongman stuff and some a little bit of Olympic lifting, right? Uh, I used to do a little Olympic lifting. Strongman's where I started, and then now I'm powerlifting. You think the overhead press helps your bench press much? Or? It does. I left it out for probably like the last eight months. Just been lazy. Yeah. I need to start put that back in. When I bench 470. I was overhead pressing every bench workout. Yeah, I think even if people just do them with dumbbells, you know, it's yeah. like, you know, the barbell for it's some people. more comfortable people, on the shoulder. Yeah, for the barbell for some people hurts. Um, but just doing them, period, is, is important. And, and even just, you know, some people, you know, power lifters, sometimes they won't work their biceps or they don't work their shoulders. They're like, oh, I get it all from bench pressing. Um, but really, I, I think that extra work and extra attention needs to, you need to have extra attention and extra work for your, uh, your biceps, and your shoulders, mm -hmm. some of the smaller muscle groups. And that's why I started doing arms. <laughs> what happened to Bryce there? He fell? No, he was just resting. That's got to suck, man, to hop around on the one foot all day. Like, I don't know how he does it. Yeah, like, I just tried the, you know, some one-legged deadlifts with him one day, and the balance was such a bitch. Oh, and, it's horrible. And my fucking, the arch of my foot cramped up. Yeah. And I'm just like, dude, I don't know how you're able to get around like that. It's kind of, it's impressive. And he wants to do that. Yeah, yeah, he, he can throw on an artificial uh, limb and, and uh, you know, balance it out a little bit with that. But he said that's even more uncomfortable for him. So he'd rather, he'd rather hop along. He's just an animal. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's a tough guy and uh, it's always good to have him in. He's always um, motivating, you know, even if he does lose bets here and there. Yeah. <laughs> There's Silent Mike adding some weight. This is Silent Mike's uh, porn stash look. Um, what, what do you think about that? What, why, did, why would he go with such a pedophile type of look? Well, he needs to clean up the scraggly beard a little bit, and then that's 100% pedophile. He claims he can't shave because his skin's too sensitive. I think he's lazy. He's just being lazy? Yeah, he already told me how lazy he is. Mm -hmm. Like, he's the guy that will just watch a black screen at home because the controller's out of reach. <laughs> that's awesome. He'll just go on his phone instead of watching mm -hmm. TV. And then if that dies, he just goes to bed right there. I'm pretty fat. I've done that move plenty of times. It's fat Dan messing with some uh, overhead pressing. The other thing some of these movements are going to do is it'll just make you more jacked, just build up certain areas. So um, for some people that aren't, you know, super broad in the shoulders or, or big enough. Or have up shoulders top, at all. <laughs> big enough up top to be able to really uh, increase their bench press. It's important that you work on getting that hypertrophy. There's Joey banging out some deadlifts. How do you say that word again? Hypertrophy. Yeah, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> Hypertrophy, I think, is the way people say it. Look, we got a little girl messing around with 40 pound dumbbells. I feel terrible now because a lot of times I just use like 50 or 60. I use 40s. <laughs> I do more reps though, I guess. It's, it's pretty impressive how strong some of the girls are that are around us. Sometimes you forget, you know, you just walk by and you're like, oh, this is using 40 pound dumbbells. But then you're like, wait a second, but that's a chick. And she's 106 pounds. Yeah, yeah, we got some strong girls in the gym. We got a lot, it's pretty routine for the girls to be deadlifting the 300 pound range and for some of them uh, kind of the high threes, mid threes. And um, kind of same thing with squat. A lot of the girls are squatting about three. Yeah. Some of the girls are benching 200. Um, recently had Kara Weston bench 235. She's 52 or 53 years old. Jesus. It's fucking retarded. That's amazing. Like one, you know, 140 something. See, Bryce will never skip arms though. He's, yeah, he, he loves training them biceps. Him and uh, Casey and uh, uh, Lauren. Lauren's Lord a sucker loves, for the biceps, yeah. and then uh, Steven, you know, uh, Smokey. Smokey's probably the worst. He, he probably, if he could just have a, a preacher curl in his bedroom, he'd probably just be on oh, that yeah. thing all day long. Well, Lauren tells me he grew up with a curl bar. 
That's the only Look at Bobby piece of equipment he had. Get in the spot. Like, if I wanted a spot on dumbbells, everybody would just tell me to fuck off. How is she able to get this kind of attention? What does she have that I don't have, Marcus? I guess is my point. Um, a vagina. <laughs> so should I be looking into getting one of those? Or Possibly, yeah. Why get not? A, get a sex change just so I can get a spot in the gym? Yeah. <laughs> then you'd be setting all kinds of records. That makes sense. Silent Mike banging out some curls, building up those biceps. I love how, you know, Mike gained some weight. And every comment on YouTube and Instagram is either, God damn, you look fat, or, holy shit, you're huge, you must be on the juice. Yeah. <laughs> Like, you only put on what, like 15 pounds? No, he looks fine. It's so funny that pe people uh, people say that kind of stuff. It's 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 kind of silly, really. I think you know. I guess what people are looking at is like, depending on the angle of the photo. Yeah. Sometimes some of us look more jacked than others. You know, like I'll take a picture next to him, and people be like, "Oh my God, he's bigger than Smelly." <laughs> he's out angled you in that picture. That's yeah, why. Yeah, yeah, he won. He won. He out angled me. But I mean, body weight wise, I mean, I think he is what is 225, this a fetish? 230. He's like yeah. 220 now. Yeah, and I'm about 260, so it's not too too far apart. And I'm a little more stretched out than him. I'm taller than him. Yeah. What is she doing? She's standing on Dan. She's cheating on these pull-ups is what you're trying to tell me. Yeah. Looks like she's having a lot of fun. A lot. Who's using that little itty bitty weight? I have no idea. I hope it's not. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Big <laughs> surprise. Thank God. I was like, I really hope that's not me using that <laughs> pathetic amount of weight. Way to, he, way to work. justifying it? Way to work hard there, Danny boy. Oh, there he goes with his flex. Strength is never weakness, and that is it from Super Training Gym. Later.